This is my night scene generator where I can generate a scientifically accurate view of the stars in any condition within 2,000 years of today. This is real time and starts on March 20, 2024, the vernal equinox. Platform Masters and the 2.5D remaster of Barracana will use this as a pixel shader. This is 30 times real time. This is 1800 times real time, a minute per frame. This is 108,000 times real time, an hour per frame. This is about 2.5 million times real time, a day per frame. This is about 950 million times real time, a year per frame. The odd jittering is due to our calendar system adjusting for leap years. Years that are a multiple of 100 but not 400 are not leap years. All other multiples of 4 are leap years. I can jump to almost any date and time. This is July 23, 2073 at about 3.22 p.m., which is about when Platform Masters takes place. April 10, 1386 at 10 a.m. is the time in which the player gains control after the story intro finishes in Barracana. Let's warp to Kona, Hawaii at 3 a.m. on Jan 9, 2018. We'll pan that camera around in a full 360 degree turn from facing due north going around clockwise. I only need support for azimuth, not altitude. Let's speed up time to 5 minutes per frame, or 150 times real time. I will next adjust the latitude to go near the North Pole. Now let's go to very near the South Pole, from the tropics to both freezers. While working on this, I made some interesting discoveries, such as proving my pixels times scaling equals coordinate units formula is true to real 3D. Zooming out is fun, but going ultra-wide, like 152 degrees, has extreme distortion. The video description explains why. The azimuth and altitude grid is set to 10 degree spacings. Azimuth is mapped to green and altitude to red. 73.74 degrees is the field of view of Platform Masters, and Barracana 2.5D Remaster uses 61.93. This is like a strong telephoto using a 280mm lens. Switching back to the azimuth altitude grid, let's zoom out again. Back to Barracana 2.5D Remaster, here's Platform Masters. and all the way back to 152 degrees. Going back to the regular stars again, let's move north to about 34.6 degree north latitude. We'll pan the camera around a little more than a full circle, showing just how much is really visible at this very extreme 152 degree field of view. Now let's zoom all the way in again. The next thing I want to showcase is the effect of different texture sizes. This is 8192 wide, half size. 4096 is quarter size. And 24576, 50% bigger. Any bigger in 32-bit programs crash. At a 90 degree field of view, texture size matters less, going to the 4096, 8192, and back to the original 16384. This task is very CPU intensive. A pixel shader is intended to handle it, and there are quality settings to go with it. Quick Blend is very fast and effective, but anti aliasing is super demanding. This is 2x anti aliasing alone, 4x alone, 8x alone, 16x alone, 16x with Quick Blend. 2x anti aliasing with quick boost is the best overall balance. Anti aliasing is best when a star is less than a scene pixel. Quick blend works well in any case. Precession and nutation are also accounted for. You may have seen it earlier when one frame was a year. I'll set time to 2 seconds per day. January 1, 2000 at noon is the IAU J2000.0 standard. I'll indicate the year upon its start. 2025. 2050, 2075, 2100, 2200, 2300, 2400, 
Twenty-five hundred. Three thousand. Thirty-five hundred. Four thousand. Accuracy is off by two degrees. Five thousand. Six thousand. Seven thousand. Eight thousand. This far out, accuracy is off by ten degrees. Way too much. Thirteen eighty six for the Barracana two point five D remaster is only off by a quarter degree. Removing the constellation shapes and borders and the right ascension and declination grid and using the largest texture size shows the stars in their full glory. The calendar system change on October 4 to 15 of 1582 is also accounted for along with the non-existence of year zero. The view simulates Barracana 2.5D remaster.